Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the Snap Brain Chronicles. And we're back at you with another Ratchet video. So, but before we jump into it, if you find this type of, uh, these type of videos interesting or helpful, could you give me a like and also uh, subscribe to this channel. Okay, today just wanted to give a little background on uh, a particular craftsman ratchet these were like an in-between model that uh, came out mm, about the late 60s okay this one fits in the timeline <sighs> there it was this this model was in between the Flying V, which uh, went up to like the mid 60s. And uh, it got this model, then was uh, taken over or superseded by the quick release ratchet from Craftsman, which you can see here. It has the button for the quick release. So this is really a, uh, a quick release without a quick release because they're they're pretty much identical these two except for the fact that this one doesn't have a quick release but this one also shares some some stuff with uh, the flying V if we look at some of uh, if we turn them over here we'll look at the other side it says forged in USA with uh, the double lines with the V in the middle and this one also has forged in the USA with the double lines and the V in the middle. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't seen any of the quick releases that have that. This one has uh, forged in USA, single line, single line on each side of the V, model number, the patents. And here's another one. This is another quick release. Uh, later on model. Uh, this one just says forged in USA. It has the V. The V with the single lines on each side. And it has a model number. So uh, this one. Getting back to the intermediate here. This one I think gets confused with another one that was an intermediate that looks almost exactly the same that came out like uh, came out like ten years earlier. Let me uh, let me zoom out so you can take a look at these. Okay, and these are what are known as the long levers the the craftsman long levers these came out uh, after the box head uh, craftsman and before and these these were taken over by the flying V so for like a year or two they had these long levers they had the box head originally that one lasted I think from the late 40s it's not here I don't have it right here I have a uh, let me see if I have anything I might have oh actually I do have a quarter inch handy These are the box heads from the late 40s to the mid 50s and these got taken over by the long levers they had problems with the long levers so they didn't last long and then they went into the flying V which was which lasted like uh, from the late 50s up until the mid 60s 
but uh, like I said, this uh, this intermediate from the quick release often gets confused with these because they look they look the same. They they don't have the f the they don't have uh, the quick release button on them, and the switches are on the surface pretty identical. The only thing is is that yeah, on closer look there's there's a way of telling these apart if you look at the switches as you see the long lever switch it floats in the middle of the air there it doesn't touch the bottom and it kind of hangs in the air there up top and I think that was the downfall of the switch because it's like hanging there and it was easy to dent or break for example the switch this is a long lever switch and it's supposed to be straight like that but as you can see it's bent it's bent down it must have took a hit at some point as you can see there is bent down it must have took a hit and kind of got bent but uh, so that's one way of telling these apart but other ways of telling these apart is that you can see there's a groove there's a groove here and a, a raised portion here like a, a little a little hill here at the edge and on the long levers from the 50s these go all the way up and touch the head they go all the way up this line goes all the way up and touches the head here on the 60s uh, on the quick release intermediate that it doesn't do that it goes up and then stops here and then there's a flat part here the flat part is because this switch as you can see here it doesn't float it touches that flat part it touches the beam itself so this is a stronger switch because it's not going to get knocked and get bent like this one this one as you can see it doesn't touch any of the parts down below here this one does this one has the same uh, it's the same switch as the the quick release this one, the quick release also has the raised, little raised portion at the edge and it stops before it touches the head. So that's one way you can tell these are the quick release intermediate. And also the older, the older Craftsman uh, intermediate from uh, the 50s on the plate on the raised panel it's kind of got round edges see how they're round here on the back also you see the round edges on the later on uh, versions from the 60s they kind of flattened out the edges they're not they're more square they're not as round here but they both say forged in USA and they have the double V's so that's a similarity and these also another another way of telling these apart is that uh, later on Craftsman or uh, East Coal or no I think this was before this must be more drop forge more drop forge yeah more drop forge turned into East Coal like uh, during the time when uh, the quick release first came out this must be when there was still more drop forge because you see the two lines on each side of the V so 
Anyhow, with with the later on intermediate from the 60s, they went to, I think with the Flying V, around the time of the Flying V, they went to a gear that was uh, black, a black gear, you can still see some black on it. You see the, the gear here for the, the Flying V, it's black. And on these earlier ones, these earlier long levers, the gears were chromed. You can see it's chrome. And also the the snap rings were also chromed. I think these were these were blackened. Yeah. These were blackened and the ones in the front were also blackened. And these older ones I think they were chromed, the snap rings. So that's another way of telling telling them apart. But uh, I don't, these things can't be taken as a science because I've seen a lot of these ratchets, and not only this ratchet in particular, but going from different eras to different eras, like going from especially this when they got to this shape which they continued using this for like a long time it went from the late 50s all the way to the early 90s this particular shape here and um, it's I've seen examples where when they went from one era to another it seemed like they shared parts on certain things, some certain things were interchangeable and certain things weren't and you might find like a V you might find a V with with a chromed a chromed gear and you can say well that's uh that's probably a repair gear to something they, they they swapped out the the anvil or the gear and the repair kit came with a chrome gear that could be true that could be true too but i think uh just in the manufacturer i think that they had a lot of uh spare parts from moving especially moving from the long gear to the flying v i think they they had a uh, they did away with this and whatever bodies they had that were from the long gear i think they just put a lot of them a lot of uh at the manufacturer i think they just took those and started putting the flying v switches on on some of these uh long levers because i've seen i've seen quite a few flying v's that just like they look like they were long levers they had the same kind of uh peculiarities that made them long levers but I think you know since they probably had extras or whatnot of the bodies so they were like oh well let's put let's put the end let's put uh, the the pole or the switch in there and we'll, we'll send it out like that so I think a lot of that went went on also so I don't think there's a line of demarcation where oh okay all these features are just one thing and then the next ratchet we put out is going to have all different features and only include things that are particular to that ratchet I think you know like manufacturers do they have like spares or whatever they're going to put stuff together and send it out the door you know they're not going to throw anything away so anyhow so that's a, just a little bit of uh just a little bit of history on craftsmen, craftsmen in general, and this this line of uh, ratchet in general, and this this ratchet here in particular. So okay, until next time. <laughs>